crazy, but um, I'm just chatting with someone online right now who I didn't even really know that well, but like God brought me to, brought them to my mind a couple times when they were like struggling and I've been in the thick of it myself. Um, and so I would just like want to reach out and want to tell this person like, I have a word for you and this is what God's saying, but I never really had the courage to do it. And then now, like I've just, they've got brought to my mind a couple times and I've just been like believing for them and all this stuff and like not really necessarily had the courage to say anything. But then all of a sudden this person is posting all this stuff and like talking about how they're changed and talking about all this amazing stuff online and like I don't want to smoke weed anymore I don't want to drink anymore like spirit is doing this that the other and I'm just like floored and now it gave me the ability to reach out and this has been like a year or two in the making and it hasn't always been on my mind but now this opportunity has arisen and I didn't have the courage before to say anything and now I do because it's the right time and so it just goes to show how all these things there's a timing to everything and like if you don't feel the courage to do something then it's probably because maybe you don't you're not empowered to do it at the time and then there will be a time when it's like time to release and that kind of takes the pressure off for performance and things like that and then you know during the time it wasn't my job to fix or change this person it was just I was partnering with what God was already doing and I got the opportunity to just like stand in faith for this person and then now seeing what God's doing it's just like it's the fruition of what's been happening the whole time and it's just so amazing because I get to partner with that but not in a religious way more in like a God's telling me what he's doing and I'm agreeing with it in the spiritual realm and it's helping to move mountains, you know, because it's like faith expressing itself. So that's amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> but this chick has been like posting. I'm talking like sharing her authentic truth to the point of where I'm almost like sometimes but that's kind of like I relate because I'm like that too I'm that type of person to just be super authentic and I don't see many people doing that to that level online and I feel like we need more of that a little bit um, maybe a little less about like look at me look at me and a little less about like promote my shit so that I can be six, like pretty much just me, 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 and more about like things that will actually help people. And then that would lend itself towards benefits for that person. But we have enough naked chicks on Instagram. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll post some naked sexy stuff here in a minute. Like I'm not judging, you know, but I'm just saying that there's people need help out there too. So sharing revelations from God, sharing things that will help other people as opposed to helping self, that will in turn end up helping self, if that makes sense. Anyways, speaking of, I wanted to share on one of the revelations that I recently just got and it has to do with um, the scripture, I think it's John 12, 24, and it talks about um, unless a seed goes into the ground and dies, it won't bear fruit, but once it dies, it bears much fruit. And I feel like it was so cool because so much of those scriptures, when God brings a revelation, it ends up being so much about like an internal prescription for what's going on in our minds, in our hearts, in our souls and everything like that. And so I feel like he brought it to my mind. He's like, if you'll pay attention, there's always this fight going on in our minds. And it's always between pretty much the tree of the knowledge of good and evil versus the tree of life. And so 
they're let's let me give an example let's say i want to be successful right in life and then there's a temptation to go out and try to make something happen where i'm my motive is kind of false right like i want to glorify myself or i want to um i'm thinking logically of a way that i can go out and make something happen besides waiting on god to kind of tell me or show me what's up um or like if my motive is wrong and i want to do something for my selfish gain or like something like that right and then i go out and i try to make that thing happen based out of fear like fear of lack pretty much then that's me kind of eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil and what it mimics as or what it sounds like in the brain is okay what do i need to do to make this happen what do I need to do to do this? What do I need to do to do this? Oh, uh, I feel a lack inside. Okay, what do I need to do to fix or change that? And it's based on fear, it's based on lack, and it's based on pretty much like the law, the old covenant, the old way of doing things, like in order to, like the tree of knowledge of good and evil, in order to be wise, you do this thing, you eat this tree you take this fruit and it looks so good and it looks so like oh this will work in my mind this will work i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna run with it and really that's what ends in death every time but instead if we resist that temptation to take the bite out of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil which is relying on our understanding and instead it's like that seed that goes into the ground you plant it, it dies. So so that temptation, the fleshly temptation to go out and try to make something happen or do something based off of that premise, what I just explained, if you'd say, nope, I'm not going to do that because I know what happens when I do that every time. It ends up when I follow that thought pattern, when I act on that, it ends up leading to death. Instead, God, I'm going to trust you. Instead, God, I'm going to wait on you to show me and I'm going to wait until I get an inkling, an unction, or like some sort of something, right? And I'm not going to act on that. And instead, I'm going to let that thing die. And then I'm going to, then once it dies, that's like the, the hard part because that's the faith part, right? That's not the flesh. It's acting out of the mind of the spirit, not the mind of the flesh. But there's a battle and it's a war being waged to get to that place where you say now I'm gonna let that die and God I'm gonna wait on you and then from that point you're eating from the tree of life instead and and then things can be more God initiated as opposed to self initiated and then we start yeah eating from the tree of life and I'm not saying that this is like a one one for all formula or whatever and then but to finish my thought, then it bears much fruit because then, you know, yeah, it's God initiated pretty much. But I'm not saying that this is like a formula. I'm just saying that because God wants a relationship with us. But I'm just saying, generally speaking, this is kind of like a, a pattern that I've noticed between the tree of the knowledge of good and evil versus the tree of life and what is the tree of life i mean it's god himself it's not a formula it's a relationship with god um but so yeah i don't have it all figured out but it's definitely 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 food for thought and if you'll pay attention to your thoughts the the feeling of the lack the feeling of the what do i need to do the temptation to act on that instead of waiting on god and sitting with the pain sometimes and not acting on it sometimes we have to act on it in order to not act on it if you know what I mean and get in enough pain where we realize sometimes so it's just um yeah noticing that thought pattern and then coming to realize that it really what I'm talking about is true I guess like maybe just you maybe you relate um Anyways, hope it helps. Thanks. Have a great night, guys.